Sure, Jordy. Why don't you carve another little owl? A little hooter. So that's that. I don't know what to uh, carve down here. Open for suggestions. Okay, so here's an owl that I carved with uh, Ryan Cook at Ryan Cook Carving and Uncle Kevin. Uncle Ryan taught me the block out of the owl. Then uh, when Uncle Kevin showed up, he taught me uh, these eyes like this. So see how much higher those eyes are from the beak. This is one I like Uncle Kevin's spook owl type of thing. It's just a fantasy owl. But I like this eye. And for some strange reason, is for a carver with a bit of experience, it should be pretty basic. Just cut it in, make it round a bit, and then put burn your thing in there. And see how low the beak is compared to the eye? Well, I like this. That's why I've not sold this piece. And I've kept it and cherished it because two great carvers helped me carve this. I like this one. But I don't like this. This is some kind of abortion. So the eye should have been way back higher. The beak, this beak is way too big, I think. But then again, it's just a fantasy owl, okay? So I'm not a realism carver, but still. I just don't like the way that is. It looks like his eyes are too weird. I just carved Rob. Says eyes, owl eyes are, in his opinion, are round. And um, Larry Dibbs, I talked to him. He said this, the breather holes, the eye should be higher than the breather holes. So what I'm going to do to fix this, and this is just a beginner's video for beginning wood carvers that are, hey, you're going to have, I've done maybe like 10 owls this size. And I, I just don't quite get it yet. It's good to have a replica like this around. This isn't a spook owl, but you can see how the nose, the beaks there, the eyes are higher. But anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my chainsaw. I'm going to cut lots of this off. And I'm going to cut all these eyes out. I'm going to get my chainsaw and scoop it out, cut this, because look how much room. I can carve these eyes like... I want to try and keep these outsides, right? But I'm going to scoop inside here and take all this back. Yeah, it sucks you have to recarve it, but you got you can't stop till you're somewhat happy with it, right? And then uh, I might, just might, carve this out and uh, make it a planter. So this will be hollow in here. I'm not too sure. Okay, so there you go. You got a clean slate. Okay, it's all scooped in there. Both sides are kind of equal. Try and make them. I shouldn't be teaching how to carve owls because I don't even know how to carve owls. So his beak can come right here. But uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to stand in front of the screen. Try and get the eye center. Okay, so that's his beak there. Then his breather hole thing can be there i think that's a bit better then these things these uh lines down here will come on top of here so what i'm going to do now is hook up my die grinder yeah so look at those eyes make sure you, you get your eyes center i'm just going to use the wood burner the eyeball burner on this I don't know. Then you can do like this or no, nope, just do it simple, burn the eyes and make some lines and just get it done. So okay, but you can kind of see there now. Got a clean slate. I'll get all this, clean all this up with my die grinder right now.
There you go. BB little eyes. I think this is the Mampa tool. Eyeball cutter. Um, saber tooth also. Saber tooth tools also make the eyeball cutter. So that's that. Now I'm going to just quickly carve in some details and uh, get this thing done. It's face done so I can move on to the base. So once you finish carving and drilling out the holes in your new bird burr holder, I just drew these lines on quick. I'm going to uh, hit it with my Dremel, kind of give them a quick carve. Then I'm going to use the Dremel 125 bit to do some burning in there. This is my new cordless 8240 Dremel. I'm super disappointed because when I was last time when I was at Ryan Cook's carving shop, I tried his new Dremel and I loved it so much, but his is the 8260. This is the lower model. Oh well, just gotta keep carrying on. Use what you got. It's still 12 volts. Maybe the same batteries. Anyways, just not as maybe not as much uh, lights on this one. And this one does not hook up to your phone. So you can, I don't know why it needs to hook up to the phone, but whatever. So he's got beady little eyes. That's just fine. The eyes are higher than the beak. They're just about the same length as the breather holes, so that's okay. Uh, sooner or later, I'm going to get to figure out how to carve the real eyes, like Uncle Kevin does. But I'm going to go carve with Uncle Kevin pretty soon, and he'll show me, hopefully, how to do it. Um, it's just a brain block that I'm having. So there we go. There's a cool planter now. Now... What I did here with my chainsaw, I already took some out here. This is cross hatching, so I cut it this way, then I cut it this way, then the chips just, the, the little squares just fall out. So this is going to be like a succulent holder or whatever. And now I got my uh, Mampa hole cutter. Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to do this to clean it up. Mampa tools. This is one of my favorite tools. Uh, I wish I had my chainsaw gouger, but it broke, so. I'm just going to have to use this one to get everything smooth in here. And you're also going to need a drain hole. Then after that, then I'm just going to carve nice smooth lines down this. And um, yeah, carry on. Okay, so I'm going to talk about encouragement right now. I'm not a professional carver. I'm just a learning carver just like you guys. But the more that you practice, the better you're going to get. Even if you think you suck after your first one, even if you think you suck, you don't suck. Because you're, car you're carving something or doing something with art that lots of people want to do, but they're too afraid to try. Never be afraid to try. You know, like that's because if you don't try, how are you going to know if you like it or not? Um, this was a super fun piece to do. I'm tired. Uh, I'm going to pull it off the stand here and I'll give you Well, I can give you. Let me see if this is uh, on point with the camera. Okay. Let's lower it a bit. 
I'm gonna pull it off the jack stand. And give you guys the full. Oh, it's here a lot lighter now. But I'll just give you guys the full 360 view of it. You know, super fun project anybody can do. Practice your eyes on your owls. The more you do, the better you'll get. And I suggest when you post your pictures for sale that are flower pots on Facebook or whatever you do, wherever you post them, have some flowers in the pot itself or it's just some grass or whatever so it looks nice and green because the price goes up. It looks more appealing to the human eye. Trust me. So this will be a succulent holder. I asked Larry Dibbs what he thought of the idea today, this morning, in our morning coffee talk. He said it sounds like a good idea to make it a flower potter. This is a short, fat little owl. That's okay. They're cuter. Cuter, uh, cuter they are, the price goes up. Price just went up. <laughs> I painted black inside here. I got my drain hole. So that's about all. I just hope um, this can somehow motivate you to have fun. Don't be afraid to try. Don't be afraid to suck. Because the more that you do, the better you're going to get. I still got to start carving this uh, waterfall project that I got, like a fountain feature. I still got to finish that uh, tree and make, make it so branches are separated and branches are coming up so it fills up a whole wall. But anyways... Trust me, the more the try, the more you try, you don't suck. Don't let anybody tell you you suck too, because I know there is some people. We all have friends like that that will be like, you suck, you shouldn't do that. Don't listen to them, because the more that you do, the better you're going to get. And then one day, they're going to say, you don't suck. And that's when you can charge them triple amount of the money for the carving or painting or whatever it is. Carb Infusion, over and out. Hope you all good. Might have been making a lot of videos lately. Fuck is that hot man? Sure, this is recording. Three, two, one. You ask me, Jordy, why don't you uh, like owls? Well, I don't like owls because they always say, who, who, who? Anyways, what are you doing?